Hello, my friends, and welcome to the first ever episode of the Carfis Podcast. Yes, welcome to my car office. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. <laughs> so here we are. We are finally in my car office, my car office, and this thing, it, it's fully loaded. I mean, check this out for a second. We got the leather seats. This is what you call a 2010 Honda Odyssey. I, I actually call it the man van. Uh, even though it's, we call it bonita, which means beautiful, I still tell people it's the man van. I know, kind of confusing, but that's okay. But here's the thing. I mean, this thing's fully loaded. Like I said, leather seats, the seats up here. Um, for a 2010, I'm just saying, they're heated. Um, it's very smooth ride. And when I actually pick up people for Uber and Lyft, because for those of you who don't know, I Uber and Lyft. Uber liftering is actually what I call it. Uber liftering. You're right. I don't know if I'm the first one to say it, but um, I like it. I'm not even going to try to spell it. But when anybody enters my car, I say, hey, how are we doing today? And I just want to let you know there's water in the door. Fiji. Gummins Jolly Ranchers. And I got a movie playing right now. School of Rock. I mean, that's a classic, right? And I say, hey, welcome to the best Uber or the best Lyft of your life. So, I want to welcome you once again. Uh, I've been telling you this is going to happen and been dragging my feet a little bit, um, but now here it is. Here it is, and you're welcome. So here's the deal. Why the Carfis podcast, the Carfis, and why now? I wanted to take just this episode to share that. Actually, over the course of the next four episodes, I'll be sharing a little bit more like, for instance, the connection flights to now. I'll be sharing um, a whole episode of our season of life here in Oconomowoc. Actually, we live in a small city called Ashapin outside of, it's unincorporated uh, city outside of Oconomowoc called Ashapin. And then, then I'll finally share with you uh, about Erie and then we'll share with you what we are excited about next. So that's just a little bit of a teaser for you, but today I just wanted to take a moment. I have no idea how long this is gonna be. This is the first time I'm doing this. So thank you for your grace, And but I wanna share with you why the Carfis and why now. Well, first of all, many of you know I have a brand called Never Walk, and that's basically like my baby. I, I've been telling people, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna start a podcast called, a podcast, <laughs> podcast well you know uh as you can see we're we're on to a good start here uh a podcast called team never walk which that is coming that's coming this uh fall and uh, i keep saying that to you know make sure i actually launch it in the fall but that's something I, like i've been planning in my mind in my heart and, and that's like the value i wanted to add to this world and it's gonna be about you know a a whole podcast about perseverance. I'm going to bring on people, interview them, interview their stories of perseverance, and I hope they're going to be stories that will add value to your life and help you in the season of life that you're in. I'll share my story of perseverance, and, and that's what kind of podcast it's going to be. Well, as I was talking to one of my mentors, probably about a month, uh, over a month ago, I was just, you know, I'm always joking with people. Hey, I'm in my car fist. I'm in my car fist. I'm in my car fist. And I was telling one of my mentors about... Um, you know, my Carfis and about my podcast that I wanted to launch called Team Never Walk in the fall. And he goes, dude, why are you waiting? Why are you waiting to launch Team Never Walk when you have a perfect, perfectly good idea in the Carfis and you should like launch that right now. You should launch that today. I'm going to turn off the heat. You know, we're just, we're just here. There we go. See, welcome. Um, just launch it. And I'm like, yeah, but you know, I mean, what am I going to talk about? And like, you know, I'm just in my car and everything like that. And he just basically just was telling me, dude, people don't want to know about your journey when it's done. They want to know about your journey while you're in it. And they want to, they want to go with you through it. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm always talking about my car office, the car office. And, um, so I'm just like, you know what? You're right. And, and then I tried to make some excuses like I'm so busy and like we're getting ready to move. We're like 38 days from moving right now and um, like got all this different stuff on my plate with everything that I do with, with life and health coaching and so on and so forth. And it's just a lot. It's a, it, it, it's a lot. And I know 
we all have our own relative biz- busyness. I tell people that all the time, like, hey, you know what's going on? They say they're busy. And I usually ask them, well, what does that look like to you? Because, you know, busyness is relative. And so I was making these excuses. He just said, hey, people want to know what's up right now. They want you to take them with, they want you to take them with you in what better way than with the Carfis podcast. So um, I probably scared some of you there. I scared myself. But today, again, I want to, and it's getting darker by the minute. I kind of started this kind of late. If you're, if you're listening to this, you're not going to see that it's getting darker. But if you're watching this live, it's like six or seven, past 7 p.m. And so I don't have a lot of time before the sun goes down. But uh, I just wanted to take whatever time I could and, again, share with you more of the why and why now. Well, I kind of just shared with you the why because, hey, I mean, no better time than right now. And, and I live out of this thing. Literally, I probably spend 80% of my time, that might be an exaggera- exaggera- exaggeration, you can ask my wife, in this place. Like, this is where I obviously drive for Uber and Lyft. This is where I take a lot of my phone calls because we have three kids and, and they're loud and they're beautiful. It's a beautiful cast. I love my kids. Um, and there's not really many places in my parents' home right now as in, if you don't know me, that's, that's where me and my wife and three kids are living. That's part of some future podcasts coming up. Um, but you know, it's just, it's loud. And so I'm, I take calls in here. I, I drive around. I do a lot of my work out of here as a life and health coach. I take, you know, calls out of this, uh, go on zooms, FaceTimes, I'm on my computer. I'm, I'm getting work done. Like this is where I get work done. So, I mean, it's comfy. It's cozy. I got heat. I got AC. I mean, I can lock myself in. I, I know. Super fancy. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. So I'm like, you know what? I, I want to bring people along. Those of you that know me from, you know, just the past or just currently the present, or maybe you're going to watch this and you're going to know the future me as we move. Um, I don't know, guys, like I've never done something like this before. So I just knew it'd be fun to bring uh, my friends, my family members, new fans along with me um, as we, me and my family are going through this season. And me and my family are nothing special. I mean, I guess I'll just give a little bit more background about me. Uh, I'm a Midwest boy, grew up in West Dallas, Wisconsin. I'm 33 years old. Um, I love the Green Bay Packers and cheese. I mean, who, who doesn't? I mean, I guess there's people that don't. And um, I have a vocational ministry background, so I was in vocational ministry for for 12 years. I'll share more about some of that transition um, in in a podcast coming up. But um, really, I, you know, I'm just I'm just a typical guy. I I transitioned into missional entrepreneurship, and I love people. I love adding value to people, and I have a carfis. So, I mean, there's nothing, nothing crazy or anything like that, but I just, I just thought it would be fun, like I said, to put this together, to kind of live out loud in this way. Um, you, you can come along with me for the ride, no, no pun intended, over how many, I don't know where this is going to go, okay? Like, literally, I, I do not know where this is going to go. I have no idea why someone is even going to want to, like, listen to this, like, uh, if you do, thank you. Uh, if you don't like it, thank you. I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna offend me. Um, but I, as I was searching like the Carfis, there's not actually, I think there's one other guy that did something called the Carfis on YouTube. And so that's why I'm calling this the Carfis podcast. And so, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how original it is. I don't know how new, how fresh it is, but nonetheless, we're here. Like I said, and so I, I did I did already kind of share with you why the Carfis and why now, but just just to make sure um, to really pinpoint that before we shut this down, because again, I don't even know how long this is going to be. Um, again, why the Carfis? Because it's my car office. This is literally where I get everything done. That's 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 why. I mean, it's 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 really it's really that simple. I I live out of here. I literally live out of my car. And by the way, this car is going to be paid off in July. So booyah! Um, and then why now? Again, to recap, why now? Because one of my mentors basically said, "Greg, what are you waiting for? Stop making excuses. People want to come with you along on the ride, leading up to." leading up to Erie, leading up to moving there. They want to know the background, the, all that kind of stuff. And so, again, 
that's why the Carfis, that's why now, that's why I've started and I have no idea where this is gonna go, where this is gonna end, all that kind of stuff. Um, you're gonna hear me say this uh, pretty often on this um, podcast or whatever if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, my family and I, we believe in, uh, we don't believe in destinations, we believe in connection flights. And so what I mean by that is, you know, I've been in the Midwest most of my life. I was out in, you know, Minnesota for, for, for college. But, you know, this, this whole trip, just to give you a little uh, move into Erie and, and beyond, basically, you know, we believe that that's our next connection flight. But we don't know how long the layover is going to be. So you're going to hear that again and hear more details about that in the coming episodes. But again, as you come along with me, in the Carfis, I'm just gonna say how it is. As you can see, like this is not uh, scripted. Besides, like my beginning was kind of scripted, if you couldn't tell. And then I have like a little a little ending here that hopefully I'll just memorize. It is a little scripted. Other than that, I have a title. Like here, here it is. Here's my titles for the next five weeks. You ready? Next or next? Yeah, because I want to I want to try to drop one of these every single um, every single Friday or every weekend for the next. Every, every week, basically. So like I said, this is this is why the Carfis and why now, the connection flights to now. So like I said, um, my next episode will be about everything leading up to uh, now. And then my third episode will be about um, our season that we're in right now, these last eight months at my parents' house. Then I'll talk about the story behind Erie. And then after that, talk about what we're looking forward to in Erie. I don't have anything else planned after that, people, and I don't even know how long each of these podcasts will be. Like, right now, we're at about 11, almost 12 minutes, and I'm basically almost done. Who knows? I'll probably ramble on for another 5, 10 minutes, but I really don't have much more to say except for, I guess, this. Stay tuned. If you are at all intrigued and excited about where I'm going to take you in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years... <laughs> You thought I was going to say weeks and days, didn't you? Nope. 20, 20 years. 40 years. This car will not last that long, I'll tell you that right now. It's a 2010, but it's, it's holding up. It's the man, man, people. But anyways, if you're at all intrigued, if you're excited, um, if you're curious about how we got here, if you're curious about why Erie, if you're curious about our experiences with um, these last eight months, months as, we, as we've been living with my parents, if you're curious about what we are excited about, in the future, and then if you're curious about what's going to happen after that, because so am I, then stay tuned. Stay tuned. And um, I, you know, most podcasters say things like, "Hey, you know, like this and share this and text it off to your friends and and like it on YouTube and follow and subscribe and all, all those things." So I guess th there you go. I mean, I guess do that. I mean, right now there's not much more, you know, there's not much like huge value behind this intro video. Um, but as we get, get deeper and stuff like that, if you find value in anything that you hear on this and you think that's going to add value to somebody else's life, again, why wouldn't you share it? Usually if you share something on social media, if you share something on your page or you post something on your page, um, it's added value to your life, so why wouldn't you want to pass it on to someone else? Well, which, by the way, that's kind of like my whole heart and concept behind uh, social media and platforms and stuff like that. I really try, and you, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, Instagram is Greg underscore Gross, and Facebook's Gregory Lee Gross. If you follow me on any platforms, I really try to be intentional with, hey, if I'm going to post anything, I want to add value. And if I'm going to like anything or follow anybody, it's people that are adding value to me. And that's kind of how I utilize Facebook. I don't really like, I mean, I don't like to, you know, get into big conversations or start controversial things. I mean, I mean, I really, what I post about is my family, you know, my heart, um, health and wellness, uh, motivational stuff, team never walk, and now the car fist. You know, the Carfus. I mean, sometimes the Green Bay Packers, you got to throw them in there once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm, again, I'm just another average, average guy. Um, actually, you know what? I take that back. I ain't average. Okay. I, I, ain't, I don't want to be average. Who wants to be average? See, see, now I'm trying to say something I'm not just to sound normal. I, if you know me, I'm definitely not normal. 
So I got, I'm a DI on the disc profile, I'm Enneagram 3, I'm pretty crazy, and um, you know, bless, bless my wife for that, you know, pray for her, send her some, uh, <laughs> send her out some love because uh, she, she married me. So she's like my better three-fourths. Oh, by the way, I guess a little bit more about my family. See, I told you, I'm all over the place, people. I, I, I've been married to my beautiful wife for 11 and a half, almost 12 years this August. We have three beautiful, chaotic kids. Emerson is six, Alice is four, and little Etney, I believe she's like 21 months. And so those are, that's, that's our little bunch, our bunch, our, our gross fam, our gross family, our gross bunch. So... All right, guys. I guess other than that, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming along for the for the ride. This was quite the experience for me. I mean, someone that goes on Facebook Live pretty often, someone that sends out a lot of videos to people and clients and different coaches that I on my team. Uh, this, you know, I'd be lying to you. If, I mean, I'd be lying to you if this wasn't actually a little bit difficult for me. Uh, I'm not used to this type of a um, type of a vibe. Obviously, if you see me on YouTube, it's a little bit different for you. If you're just hearing me, you probably see the less awkwardness. Which, by the way, if you're just listening to me, that's great. But you can't experience the full carfis unless you see the carfis. Again, like this, this is the carfis, okay? And I hope. We have some guests once in a while, maybe right back there in that seat. You'll see, uh, you know, my wife or, you know, a little kid bouncing around. I don't know. I don't want to promise you anything. I don't know if I'm even going to have guests on this podcast. But if I do, I guess you'll find out. And honestly, you're probably going to want to hear from more than just me. But, well, that's all I got. I think, I think that's all I got. I feel like I'm missing something, but probably not. We're already 17 minutes in. And uh, I'm pretty sure I accomplished my main objective, and that was telling you why the Carfis and why now. And if you don't know already, go back. I already mentioned it twice, so I'm not going to mention it thrice, three times. Okay? So, all right. Well, that's, that's all I got for you. That's all I got for you, my passenger friends. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed your ride. And uh, see, I kind of got a script for the end. I got I to gotta re- remember it. Well, that's about it, my passenger friends. I hope you enjoyed your ride in my Carfis. I hope it helped you in your current location or moved you forward into your future destination. Did you like that? Did you like that? Wait, actually, you know, let me read it for you right here. I say, all right, my passenger friends, hope you enjoyed your ride today in my Carfis. Hope it helped you in your current location or towards your next destination. Until next time, be well. <laughs>